Tonight's holiday parade is the first in two years, and the route is different, coming up here through 2nd Avenue North and turning left under Sky Point at Broadway. After what happened in Wisconsin last weekend, Billings Police Chief Rich St. John says they'll be on full alert. You know, this could happen anywhere, anytime, and we need to be at our best. Uh, something like that and someone like that only needs to get lucky. Uh, we got to be right all the time. Daryl Brooks killed five people Sunday after plowing into the Waukesha Christmas Parade in an SUV. St. John hasn't had any big incidents at Billings event over the years, and he's hoping to keep it that way, especially in an area that's come under scrutiny. If you think back to the passage of the safety levy, part of our campaign message was to help with the uh, perception or the reality of uh, safety issues downtown. And so it, it, it's an opportunity to get out, be seen. They'll be particularly careful at intersections. If you have a vehicle that decides to drive through the parade, it's going to come from one of those. So we have added barricades to the parade route, and we also have additional uh, staffing both on foot and uh, in patrol units to help. But all in all, St. John expects a great night for a beloved community event. I'm not anticipating any problems. We have no uh, threats on the radar in any way, shape, or form, but that doesn't mean there's not some crazy out there uh, thinking about something, so we need to be prepared just in case. The parade starts at 6.30 p.m. on 2nd Avenue North, just south of the Granite Tower. Casey Conlon, MTN News.